can stress cause a dizziness attack? Yeah. So I think one of the most important things that people really need to understand is the etiology of their dizziness. So it does go back to what's actually causing it because when our system goes into kind of a fight or flight response, it doesn't um, allow your system to rest and recover. So when we specifically talk about inner ear dizziness or vestibular dizziness, um, certain types of those dizziness, so again, going back to that migraine associated vertigo, um, with stress will cause the system to flare up and it really causes the symptoms to um, you know, heighten. And for a lot of patients, if you can't relax and you can't recover and you're kind of on this carousel of symptoms going round and around, um, it's very frustrating. So it really can kind of bleed into other complications for a lot of people, which is frustrating. Um, we know in the clinic when people come in that anxiety in most of our dizzy patients, most of our vestibular patients can be 25 to almost 50%. Um, and that's crazy to think about because a lot of times, you know, when you are um, at a very high incident of anxiety, it just, it makes things worse. It just becomes kind of this chicken before the egg for a lot of people. So they don't feel well. And then on top of that, now they actually have all this anxiety surrounding it. Um, you know, we also see a lot of um, kind of increase in depression. And again, it really goes back to working in a multidisciplinary fashion to understand are these patients getting depressed because they can't do their normal activities again? They can't go to work. They can't pick up the kids from school. Um, or was it something that they were predisposed to previously? Um, so it, it just becomes very complex and very complicated for a lot of people.